Most of the time, when we think about gardening, we think about three things. What we can see, what we can smell, and what we can touch. But the most important element to a healthy, lush garden is not what's above the ground, but what's underneath. Having healthy soil is vital to having a healthy garden. What type of soil you have will dictate what you can plant, how much you water and feed, and in some cases, how much you need to amend. Today, I'm going to go through the different soil types and show you how to identify them using the soil sausage test, which is basically grabbing a handful of soil, making it damp, rolling it into a sausage, and finding out where it breaks. And this will tell you exactly what type of soil you have at home. There are three main types of soil, sand, loam, and clay. However, there is a wide range between these three categories, such as sandy loam or clay loam. The percentage of sand to loam to clay can vary dramatically depending on where you live and the history of the garden. Sandy soils are freely drained but generally nutrient deficient as they don't have a lot of organic matter to hold on to the nutrients or water. To improve sandy soils, add organic matter like compost, manure and wood chip. This will improve water retention and nutrient availability for the plants. Loam soil is what we are aiming for. It's got the perfect mix of sand, organic matter and clay. It's a great environment for microorganisms. It retains water, but also drains well, and it has plenty of nutrients available so your plants get the best of all worlds. To keep loam soils performing well, keep them topped up with organic matter like compost, manure and wood chip. Clay soils have the finest particles of them all but it does mean it can bond together really tight, making it hard for the roots to penetrate and the water to drain away. They are packed full of nutrients though, so with some improvements, they can become a great soil. To improve clay soils, once again, add organic matter like composts, manures, and wood chip, but also add in some gypsum to help break up the soil. It really helps to turn these products into the soil with a fork or a shovel to help remove any compaction and to improve the pore spacing, drainage, and aeration. To find out what type of soil you have, you can now do the sausage test. You will have to get your hands a little dirty though. Grab a handful of soil from around five to 10 centimeters deep and remove any rocks, roots, weeds, or anything that's not soil. If you have a large garden, make sure you grab a few samples from different areas as soil profiles can change dramatically over large spaces. Here I have samples of all three, sand, loam, and clay, so I can show you the differences. Let's start with sandy soil. Grab a good handful and moisten it with a little water until it feels like a Play-Doh texture. You will very easily feel the grit, which is the first hint that you have sandy soil. Now try to roll it into a thin sausage shape, roughly the width of your thumb and about 10 centimeters long. As you can see, sandy soils don't stick together very well at all. Now that you've made your sausage, gently bend it in the middle, and if it breaks quickly, that means you have sandy soil. It does this because it doesn't have enough organic matter or clay binding it together. And for loam soils, we just follow the same process. Grab a good handful of soil and lightly moisten it. Loam will feel a little slimy, a little sticky, and a little gritty. Roll the soil into a sausage again. Loam soils will stick together more than sandy soils. This time, when you bend the sausage in the middle, it won't break straight away, but it will break before the two ends touch. This means you're one of the lucky ones and have loam soil. For clay soils, once again, follow the same process of moistening a handful of soil and making a sausage. Clay soils will feel smooth and slimy as the soil particles are so much smaller. When you bend the clay soil in the middle, it won't break at all. You should be able to bend it all the way until both ends touch. The sausage test is a really simple way to identify what type of soil you have. Once you know what soil you have, those tips I shared earlier should make it nice and easy to amend your soil if you need to. If you have any questions about your soil, leave a comment in the box below. Now get out there and get your hands dirty.